Okay, everybody, this is my Dell Latitude XT tablet PC. Well, unfortunately, this thing's going to be sitting on a shelf for a couple months or a couple weeks or so. And there's a reason for that. Two days ago, the hard drive in this thing finally quit. It just locked up. It made a couple loud click sounds and then the heads just froze right there. And now the thing barely barely runs. Oh, that was the chair, sorry. I know, I know, I got oil it. I keep forgetting. I say I'll do it, but I keep putting it off. Um... I was using this at school, or no, not at school, no, I was using it here, sorry, school didn't start two days ago, it started yesterday, um, but on Sunday, I was using this thing, and boom, the hard drive just started clicking, and Windows froze up, and boom. The hard drive seized up. And this is what happens. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but. So, the heads are trying to free themselves away from the platters, but <laughs> that's not the case. What the fuck is this for? Yeah, they're still trying to Still trying to free themselves, but they can't. Why bother? Um, this thing loads for a bit, and when it finally gets to the end, it makes two beeps, and it says there's no boot device available. Please press any key and try again. So, yeah, the hard drive's totally fucked. The reason why this thing's going to be sitting on the shelf for God knows how long is because Christmas really, really set me back. $200, gone. And boy, oh boy, huh. that was a major setback. So all my money is pretty much gone. All I have is six dollars and a Timmy's card. And yeah, um, I'm also paying off. Um, oh, there's the beep. I'm also paying off a grandfather clock. It's a it's a wall clock. It looks just like that one, but it's darker wood. I think that one's a oak color, but it kind of the same color as my piano. And I'm paying a, a European clock fixer to fix it for me. 20 bucks, and I've already, I already paid him some money. All I have to do is just pay him six more bucks and that's it. So the six do dollars are in my wallet. Huh, that's gonna be gone very soon. So, yeah. Another setback. Yep, it says right here, no bootable, bootable devices. Strike F1 to retry boot, F2 for setup utility. Press F5 to report, to run onboard diagnostics. Ooh, let's try that. Ooh, we got blue screen. Just joking. This is just a 
a system test. Error code. Jesus, how do you turn that up? You bastard. No. Oh shit. Okay, well, that didn't work. But forget it. No need to run a test anyway. I know everything works. But son of a bitch is going to sit in the closet for a little while until I can figure out what to do. By the way, oh shit. that rubber piece that was on the hard drive and that plastic film and when you looked at the hard drive on an angle, you could see two platters. Well, that thing was a fake. That, that thing was just over the hard drive to keep it from bumping off the battery. But if you ask me, there's this plate that goes all the way around. And it keeps the hard, hard drive in place so it won't budge. So putting a piece of rubber on top of a hard drive makes no sense. And, you know, there's no breather hole on this thing anywhere. But you can see the hard drive is in perfect shape. There's no dings or anything like that in there. That looks like a ding, but no, that's just a, that's just a, a dirt spot. But that's it. But yeah. I got fooled thinking that was the platters in there, but no. Hmm. And there's no uh, shock thing on here that will wreck the hard drive. This is the, the same material that was covering the hard drive in the first place. And then there is a rubber piece that was right around here. But yeah, this shouldn't affect how the hard drive runs. It doesn't look like it would cause any damage. But yeah, now I gotta buy a new fucking hard drive. <laughs> Jeez, another setback. I think I'm gonna have to sell myself on the street. Don't take that literally, though. That's just a joke. If you have no other plans, you gotta sell yourself on the street. Which I don't recommend. You can easily get hurt that way. What the fuck is that? Okay, well, now I gotta pull the hard drive out. I'm not too fond of this. Oh my god, it's connected by a ribbon cable. That is pathetic. And it's a Toshiba, not a Seagate. I thought it was a Seagate at first, but no, it wasn't. So now, I've got to gently take that ribbon cable out. I don't know how to uh, really get it out, to be honest. I gotta remove that. What the fuck is that? Um, I'm kind of worried here. I don't want to do something I'll regret. Here, I'll set the camera down. Get a better shot. If I screw this up, oh, there's no going back. Okay, so obviously that doesn't lift up. But, there's a, okay, there we go. Got it out. Look how tiny that son of a bitch is. Oh my god. That is a tiny Toshiba hard drive. I've never seen something that small before. That looks like that should be in a 
Ooh, one of those old-fashioned iPods. That's just a bubble I'm popping on there. Compare that to a standard netbook and laptop hard drive. That came out of my mother's netbook because I'm currently repairing its keyboard after someone spilt water on it or they didn't spill water on it but they wiped the keyboard with a very wet cloth and we all know what happens with electronics and water. I'm not going to go into detail. But compare this to a standard laptop and netbook hard drive. That is crazy. And this tablet isn't even a netbook or a laptop. Well, it's kind of a netbook and laptop, but why would they have a hard drive that, that small? when they could have used to that. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I, I'm not a, a person who works for Dell or anything. But yeah. <sighs> I'm still amazed looking at its awesomeness. Hmm. But yeah. I'm going to... Uh, call a computer store and see if they have one available and how much I can get for it. I don't know how long I can go without using a computer without PowerPoint and Microsoft Office on it. Because really, my school doesn't have Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, Word, uh, Microsoft Word, none of that. All we have is WordPerfect and Corral Presentations and Quattro Pro. None of my files will open on either of them. So, that's bad. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to take the ribbon cable out. I don't know if, if it even comes out. Oh, it does, okay. So, there's the ribbon cable. Look how tiny that son of a bitch is. Holy crap. You bend any one of those pins and forget about it. I'm just going to put it back in the computer and I won't lose it that way. There. I don't know what that is though. It looks like something you would uh, put a Bluetooth card in or something. I don't. Oh no, that's the touchpad. Okay, never mind. That's where the touchpad is. And that's where the buttons go. You know, I've never had this machine apart yet. Um, I think it might need a thorough cleaning sometime in the near future. But, no, yeah. My god. That is funny. Looks like a little spaceship. Hmm. Well, also, the platters in here are made out of glass, so if they shatter, well, we all know what happens. Um, when I do get a new hard drive, I'm going to use this as a reference, because uh, I'll forget immediately on what it looks like. I won't forget the size, but I'll forget what kind of connection it takes. Um, once I get a new hard drive, I'll break the platters in this one. And I'll show you guys what happens. Or go to B Bishop PCM's channel and you can also find him breaking two hard drive platters. And yeah. I'll still break this one though, just for shits and giggles. You know? If a hard drive dies, you gotta have fun with it somehow. Make it into a clock or um, use it as a cup coaster. Or just smash the platters. Or microwave them. Do whatever the hell you want. Just for, to entertain yourself for a few minutes or seconds. But, yeah. My poor tablet. Wah.